We're here at the 2013 SHOT Show. We're joined by J.J. Ricazzo, two-time world speed shooting champion and world record holder on top of that. J.J., thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell our viewers a little bit about how you got started in speed shooting. Well, I had an uh, untraditional kind of uh, route to, to start with the shooting. Um, we had a burglary in the house a long time ago, and um, the good thing, the intruders didn't get to come in. My dad came home from surgery and saw that my house was in shambles. The maids were able to fend him off. This was in the Philippines, obviously, and I was about seven years old. That's the day he looked at me in the eye and said, it's time for you to be a man. He goes, learn how to shoot this 1911. A 45 1911, I was 17 years old, uh, seven years old. Um, from then on, went to the ranges, saw a couple guys shooting what, what looked like a fun thing to do, running around shooting guns. Obviously, as a kid, I didn't know anything about a gun being a deadly weapon. To me, it was just a toy, how my dad looked at it. A toy for me to self-defend myself, if anything. And um, we started diving into it, and from there on out, just started concentrating the focus of practice. He, was, he became my coach, full-time coach, started competing, and we found out that I have a little knack for it. And that's how <laughs> essentially it started, and then from seven years old all the way now to I'm 30, 33, getting old. Oh, I wouldn't call it old. I mean, I'm old, so. So now, what what are your goals for this upcoming year, as far as uh, as far as records? What are you trying to break? What are you aiming for? Well, as my nemesis over here, Eric Rafael, I guess uh, I've been chasing him for the last, I would say, 15, 16 years now. He's a good friend of mine. Um, he switched over to the production division, uh, and essentially, I have been chasing him in the open division. Might as well chase him in the production division. So the production division now is a gun that you can. You can take it out of the lineup, it's a factory gun, you compete with it. So now I'm representing a new company, as you can see in my shirt, Caracal. Um, I shoot one of their factory guns. It is stock, bone stock gun, no modification to it. I run competition with it and run with it. And with this year, I'm trying to make waves and obviously represent them as best as I can. And no one thought I'd place top 10 in nationals. The first time, first ever that anyone brought a bone stock gun to a match. I placed top five and they were excited and that speaks highly for the company as well. Absolutely, yeah. And now, uh, what else, where can people get information on you, your competitions, uh, all your upcoming stuff? Uh, you can you can find out, um, you can follow me on, on Facebook, my team, JJ Rokaza fan page. Uh, at the same time, my webpage or the Arms Corps webpage, where we had a new project actually, because Arms Corps being my new ammunition uh, sponsorship, we have this new project where we create videos, a video series where me and Eric will come out there with with tips and stuff like that, where you can find it on YouTube. And um, every week there'll be something new, a new product that maybe stands the way he does it and the way I do it, well, whichever works for you. It's pretty neat. It's a good idea. Well, we hope you catch him this year. Uh, okay? Certainly will be running fast. Check out JJ on galleryofguns.com.